Okay, here we go. It's June 24th, Monday, and I'm back in the saddle. So uh, just getting back in the swing of things here. I'm not fully up to speed. I need to kind of ease my way back in. So today's going to be an experiment day. So we've been doing these, uh, these at the money butterflies up to this point, our experimental zero DTE butterfly trades. And on my break, my vacation break, I had this idea of an experimental way to hedge these butterflies. We got the snow tires going, but I'm not super crazy about the snow tires. I mean, they work, but they're naked calls and puts. And uh, they, depending on the volatility level, those prices could be anywhere, like at the cost of them. And they're also, they decay quickly. And it's just sort of a, I mean, it's a quick fix. It's a Band-Aid, but I like to keep it more like an emergency snow tire and come up with a more stable, uh, regularly regularly used snow tire. So the idea that I have is we put our, our butterfly on. I need to adjust this. So here's our, our normal 15 point butterfly. I'm gonna change these strikes to hit the, uh, you know, I need to check on something real quick. Pause just for a minute. Okay, here we go. So I need to uh, adjust this butterfly so that we're centered. The price is way up here. So let's go to the, Let's go to the the middle strike will be 54.85. So let me change that 54.85. And then we're going to go 15 points above, which will be 50. Look at that 5,500. We're at 5,500 already. 54.85. Well, 15 below that is going to be 45. Is that right? Mm, not quite. Uh, that says 65. I need 70. Okay, so there's our 15 point butterfly. That's the same as always in this little excursion today, this experimental excursion. So my idea for hedging is, I mean, I have a couple of them cooking, but my idea for today for hedging is to take a one day out. So today's the 24th. So these are the zero DTE options. This butterfly is a zero DTE option. But to hedge by using a, a vertical for like either the next day or two days, one, two or three days away, not the same expiration date. So the, the butterfly itself is zero DTE, but I'm looking to potentially hedge using the one DTE, two DTE or three DTE. So here I have the 24 set up as my zero DTE butterfly. And then to potentially hedge, I'm looking at this June 26, which expires in two days. And it's just a vertical spread, like at the money, basically. I need to change these to get it at the money. So let's say um, 54.85. Got a little fire I got to put out up here. Order filled. Order filled. Okay. So I'm going to have to adjust it again because it just keeps moving up. It's, it's, uh, it's like a magnet. It's being pulled up to 5,500. We probably had 5,500 today. You can't resist it. So let me change the butterfly to just to chase this market as it goes up. So I need to readjust the butterfly so that it's centered right there. And so here's the potential hedge. And this would be a buy, not a sell. So we're buying a two day out, two zero, D, zero a two day option, expires in two days, with uh, an at the money. So at the money is going to be 54.90. And this experiment could be a total uh, disaster. I back tested, we got back yesterday and I back tested just a little bit last night, but. I was too tired. I went to bed. So for my back test, it seemed like it can work. But since it's a live market, I'll just do it here with one contract and we'll see. So, you know, I could, I just could totally crash and burn on this. Um, so there is one of them. So it just slants the whole thing. It's kind of like, uh, I guess, gamma scalping this butterfly or trying to g pick the general direction of where the market's been going for the last few minutes or the last half hour as I put this on which is up and we tilt the whole thing up when, but we need to protect ourselves there just in case you know it reverses but let me get the uh, the put set up as well 
So that's the call one. Here's the put side. Let's change this to at the money. I mean, yeah, not the money, but uh, vertical. At the money, vertical, two days out. This is going to be 55. What is it going to be? 54.80. So that's the the put. See how the whole thing's tilted now to the downside. It's kind of like a, it's just tilting in the direction of the market just slightly. But we can make it as, as dramatic as we want just by adding more. I wouldn't do that, but you can see just by adding a few more, you can you can just kind of fine tune it into where you want to go. So that is the, those are the two potential adjustments. And we just basically need to pick a direction. So the other part of this is these. I need to adjust these too. 55.05. 5505 call 555510 So th this now is a zero DTE little wing here and then let me look at the put side the put side is going to be 5470 5470 and 5465 okay mm, that's not quite right this needs to come in by five points okay so again this is all experimental uh, nothing in stone yet. No rules. Just trying to see how this may work or may not work. We'll find out. You'll see it live. Okay, so let's get back to our butterfly now. This thing's really moving around. So let's take this down by five points. We're going to center this right in the middle of where price is currently at, which is right there. And then... If I had to pick a direction right now, it would be down. So I'll slightly lean down. But let's put the butterfly on. So I'm going to say create duplicate order. Here we go. Confirm and send. Okay, so we got fill in the butterfly at 420. 420? So there's the butterfly at 420. So now we have our butterfly on. And so now for the adjustment... If we go, uh, if we lean slightly bearish to the downside, which could be totally the wrong direction because I'm terrible at picking direction. But if we do it slightly, we can, we can offset each other. And then if we combine it with this zero DTE wing hedge, like so, something like that, I'm just going to let this butterfly sit here for a minute and ruminate. So maybe the right direction goes up. Uh, let's see. That's the that's the hard part of it. I, I don't want to get directional because I can't pick direction. But then again, I kind of want to lean slightly one way or the other potentially. So currently our position is like up 10 bucks or so. So let's, well, we're right in the middle. We don't even need, necessarily need an adjustment right now. If we start to edge down to like, let's split this butterfly into, um, let's say quarters. So from that break even to here is one quarter two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. If we get down to the, into the, uh, this first quarter here for sure, and maybe even before, or as we kind of get into it. Uh, 
and again, I'm, I'm not. I don't want to just put this trade on just to put it on necessarily. There's a lot more testing I need to do, but this is like the first live test. And if I don't have to put anything on, that's ideal because then we'll get in our we'll hit our profit target really quick. Any adjustments or add-ons are gonna are gonna kind of drag on it a little bit. So let's see here. And we can also add like a temporary collar put, like the the first version of the snow tire, to to balance that thing out if we need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to uh, pull the trigger. This could be the wrong decision. We'll find out. That's what makes this so exciting. I'm going to put the put longer term, like the two day out vertical on to lean it slightly bearish. Okay, so we just got filled on that at 220. 220. Where's that at? Right here, 220. Okay, so we're in that. So there's our position now. That's our live position. We have our butterfly on and we have one. We're really popping into profit quickly, potentially, with this. So without it, we're like so. This is totally balanced. That's just popping. That price is jumping all over the place. And then with our one two day out hedge, we just get, we have more room in this area here. If it comes back into here, we have a little bit of room where we can like kind of let it sit there. Cause this thing is like, think of this as like a magnet sucking that pink price up, you know? As long as we're in the tent, the further out it gets, it's not going to suck as hard. <laughs> so then uh, that's my fifth grade, no, third grade, third grade or fourth, no, let's say fifth, grade, maybe eighth grade, eighth grade humor. Sorry. Apologies for that. Disregard, disregard. Nothing to see here. Okay. So again, here's our current live position. Now I want to, let me just look at a, uh, a call. This is today's, let's just look at our call. So our first version of the snow tires were to buy a call and a put at around 80 bucks so let's just look at that again so just on the call side though now because we have that longer term hedge in there that two day out trade so this is just more kind of like as if needed as an emergency if we use the the spread hedge oh that's the wrong one we need to do the call to offset that that is a little bit of work uh or we could do Something like that. But I just, I don't want to jump the gun on this. Um, we need to, I want to get a price of around like 80, oh, that's 10 bucks. 20, 50? Maybe even like that, just kind of a, um, a temporary hold, temporary leveler if needed. So that's ready to go if we need it. So then I'm just going to sit here and watch this thing. Watch it go into a loss. And so then to exit this, the exit this trade, let's say we hit profit target right now. We're at 50 bucks. We would, I would get out of, I'd get out of the longer term hedge, the spread hedge first and then I'm back to a balanced butterfly that I can take my time to get out at at least that's the plan so I'm just gonna sit here and watch this for a few minutes again I have my my emergency fire extinguisher ready which is this this call this naked call I need I can throw it on and then I have a little bit more time to think clearly about what I need to do but that's not needed yet it's just sitting there ready waiting ready and waiting in the wings in the butterfly wings ready to go okay so the profit target on this is 50 bucks this is just a one contract again we're just kind of uh, this is this is just a, a detour from my normal testing that I've been doing with these butterflies 
just to help me kind of get back into the swing of things ease my way back in but you can see that we're getting into profit now pretty good this two day out spread I mean the prices may not be totally accurate let's see let's just get our analyze opposite trade ready to go to get out of that that, that tilted spread hedge but with the tilted spread hedge some of the things I noticed in the back test that I was doing and in uh, and right now even is that when we put it on we can make it as, as drastic as we want that's the cool thing we can just tick it up or as minimal as you want now it's hard to it's super hard at least I couldn't find a way to get this is so we're we're uh, Delta we're, we have a minus six Delta which is just kind of a nice soft slope and I couldn't find a way to get that nice so soft slope that's that was stable and stable meaning like not a naked option not a naked long or a naked put unless I went a couple days out it just kind of slows it down a little bit the the the, uh, the profit it just makes a nice gentle gentle little hill here which is what I want and in the back test this thing th this would trade out here you know and it was this thing potentially because we have that little that slanted hedge on this tent I mean not tent this bow this pink bow it's gonna rise up in this direct like up in here is like a kind of a wider range outside of the butterfly And then down here, this will this will continue to move up as the day goes on. So okay, so this is the trade as we as it currently stands. We're kind of edging up towards the top of the tent, which isn't good. Which is why we have our fire extinguisher here ready, ready to go. So you can see that pink line is raising up. I mean, when we first put that this slanted hedge on, if we were right here, we would have been uh, zero or below. So we're still getting our it's, this this triangle, this butterfly is still doing a good job of sucking sucking everything up into the top there, sucking this pink line up. So we are making ground, even though we're on the edge of this this little hill now let's just think if the thing all of a sudden shoots up what am I gonna do what I'm gonna do is put on the fire extinguisher if it's really fast just throw that on real quick level it out then I can get out of that and get back to a neutral position slightly uh, slightly bullish like the first version of the snow tires and then and then go from there maneuver from there but here's where we currently are and it's just let's see if we can hit 50 bucks before this butterfly gets too crazy oh look at that there's 80 bucks so I'm gonna watch this price right here this is the slanted hedge the spread hedge the two day out spread hedge I'm gonna watch that price to see it, it seems like it's pretty it's not bouncing all over the place it's between 210 and 220 which is nice so we're at 55 bucks I'm about ready to get out of that spread hedge if I can get out at 220 so I'm gonna set an order to get out of that at 2 225 make sure it's working okay there it is working I'm trying to get 225 and then once that comes off I'll see where we stand with the back to balanced butterfly 
and see if uh, we've hit profit target. If I can get out of that profit target. So I'm watching this number now. I'm trying. To, there goes that one. So that's out at 225. So that's cool. Not much. Yeah, that wasn't. So that's that's pretty stable. That price. So now here we are. Our butterfly. We're at uh, 45 bucks. Let's just take a look at this. If we had no hedge. If we did. If we didn't do any of that. Uh, we're probably about the same. But if we would have kept moving up, we just have more more room to stay in the trade and use that profit hump. So let me put that back on and this. And then we want to get out of the butterfly next. And that's the trade. So let's say analyze opposite trade. I guess I could say, uh, where do I want to? I could set this profit target now for this to get out at. Let's just say 475 to begin with. See if we can get lucky and get 60 bucks. Okay, so I'm saying I'm asking 475. It's showing four. It's bouncing all over the place, like 445 to 470. So let's go back over here and what do we need to put this at to get to get 50? We need. Uh, is that what we need? No, 465. 465 gives us our 50. So I'm going to say create duplicate order. This should cancel and replace the other one. Okay, so now we're trying to get it at 465. That'll give us our 50 bucks. And I'll just sit there and watch that now. Watch this price. See if we get filled. And if I don't get filled and it keeps moving down, I'll just put that same adjustment back on. So I'll say analyze trade. Just look at that ready to go if we need it. So we're hitting down towards the other, towards the uh, the lower side of the butterfly wing. Now let's look at this as if we had not taken off that. So if we hadn't take if we hadn't closed that head spread, the slant, the slanted trade, that's where we would be right now. It's looking like it's a profit around 20 to 30 to 40. But we took that off and so now we're here. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the next one. I'm going to put it on again, I think. Yeah, I'm going to put that on. Just put it right back on. Let's see if I can get filled in that. I'm going to take this butterfly trade off. I'm going to say cancel order. That. So we got filled in that spread hedge at 255. So there's our current position. So we have the butterfly, we put the spread hedge on, the put spread hedge on, then we took it off. And then we just put it back on again at 255. So here's where we currently are. So let's sit here and watch this. I have my, my fire extinguisher ready this call if needed and so another thing that I think is cool about or potentially cool about this adjustment or this way of managing this this tilting method here is that uh, this line here it starts to it it, it moves up like 
if we were if we were dealing with just the exact same options the same date the all zero dte this blue line would be flat across but you can see since we've added this other two day out option in to the mix that blue line is slanting up so on a big move down we're going to lose less or we can profit more depending on how many of these we're using i mean if we went really extreme not ex not, not even extreme but let's just say we put on two you can see like with three if it gets out here we end up making money like unlimited or not unlimited but that's a good profit if there's a big move and so on extreme move up what's cool about this is that we can make profit uh, but you look at this look at this pink line here this is a nice that's a nice bow through all that so I gotta quit screwing around let's, let's get let's see what I need to go back to one okay so here's the trade this is our current live trade Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and watch for a second. I'll either cut this part out, or maybe I'll put on some music for my infamous, my infamous uh, copyright-free music library. Library. Where is that? Okay, let's see. I'll turn this down a little bit. We just need a little bit of background music. Maybe it'll help the trade come to the profit. Okay, so here's our trade. And there's, I'm just going to sit here and uh, maybe run downstairs and get a cup of coffee real quick. And then run back up. We're looking for 50 bucks on this. And I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Let's see here. What do we got going on? So we're still just ruminating there. Um, if, we, if we make a move to the upside, I got this ready to go. But let's see if we can pull 50 bucks out of this without having to do anything else.
Okay, so it looks like we may be getting close here. Let me let me pause this music. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. We're right in our sweet spot right now. It's showing we have a thirty dollar. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this. Uh, this hedge. This. What am I gonna call this thing? The spread hedge. The tilt. I'm going to get that ready to sell out. I'm not quite there yet. It's just nice to. Uh, well, we'll see. But it seems like it, it will be nice as I'm testing this we'll find out but to have this because these are slower moving like if this were zero dte spread this thing would be moving getting into or leaving profit quickly this is two days out so it's it's, it's slower so we're just kind of combining the slower tilt with the zero dte fast options and i think i mean this trade seems so far so good i did a couple tests last night that seemed uh, so far so good. I need to do, I, I need to do a lot more back testing on this, but I think there's something here. Knock on wood, that thing will probably uh, all of a sudden scream to the upside now. All of a sudden, so if we want to get out of this trade, first we'll sell out the tilt. The two-day tilt put us back into uh, the normal balance butterfly, and then I got out of the butterfly. Not quite there. I think we're getting close. We've been in this trade for uh, 30 minutes, about, I think. So let's look at the theta on this thing. So this is with the the tilt, the two day out tilt. This is well right now it's showing a theta of 306. If we're in the middle, it'd be more. But let's just com compare it to if without the tilt, the theta is 311, 307. With it, it's about the same. seems to be getting into profit slower now than it did the, the like the first 10 15 minutes the decay or the uh, the theta the theta burn is seemed to slow down okay so now we're right on the on the wing but we're on the wing the wing of the butterfly the blue line is the expiration line but our pink current this is the t0 line our current pnl line the pink uh we look great we're like right at the at the sweet spot of that so now if we can just get the get the profit to come out of it I think the theta comes out of this comes out of these options and lurches like if you watch it it's not doesn't seem to be com like totally uniform you know like like say in a 30 minute period it doesn't each minute it doesn't go down by like for each minute of the 30 minutes there's not 30 increments of uh decay going on it's sort of like i mean it seems like this maybe i'm totally wrong but just watching these a lot it seems like it kind of goes in bunches like It'll start at like minute one and it'll stay there. Then minute eight, it'll like lurch like five points or whatever. And then it'll sit there for a bit more, maybe like 10 more minutes. And then there's another lurch. 
So it's not like uniform. It's not like super steady. It's kind of uh, jumpy. And whatever it is, it's not really coming out at all now. It's just like now we're at break even again. Yeah, maybe like 20 bucks. It's just it's pretty bouncy. And then so with the uh, the butterfly by itself, just the standard butterfly with no additional snow tires or anything it, it, when it would hit profit target it usually happened in about an hour 30 minutes to an hour when we add on those the the naked call and put snow tires it, that added like another hour or two so with those on it could take up to three hours to two or three hours or two to three times as long but with this i think that it's possible we could be back in that first 30 minute to an hour period and get get out of this quicker so I'll probably just pause right here and then uh, just keep watching this I'll come back on if anything exciting happens or it gets ready for me to take this thing off we're currently showing a profit of 10 to 20 bucks. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here we are back again. It's uh, 8 a.m., 8 o'clock in the morning, June 24th. First day back. And we have this tilt trade adjustment going on. I was thinking this is kind of like... Uh, it kind of, this kind of reminds me of like surfing the wave. Like when I was a t when I was like a teenager and in, into college years, for some reason I was trying to convince everybody I was a surfer. I would have all this surf wear, like Vans and Town and Country, and I bleached my hair blonde, and I just tried to convince everybody in my little country town, like we're like you know a full day or more away from the beach, that I was a surfer. So I was a uh, what do they call those? I was a poser. And anyway, I did try, eventually I got to the beach and I tried surfing and it was a total disaster. But this kind of reminds me of riding the wave and the way this is slanted. I don't know why. Maybe we'll call this the uh, surf's up, surf's up adjustment or the moon doggy. There was another one I was thinking of. What's the other one? Um, poser, the poser. <laughs> Maybe the moon doggy. Uh, but anyway, we're getting close now. So we're hitting, uh, you can see the price is bouncing around a lot. So while I had paused the video, we had gotten outside this tent pretty good. It moved down to like in this area, but it was still pretty uh, stable. And it, we weren't at a loss really. It held up really well. Where had we not had this moon, the moon doggy on. You know, we, well, maybe not. We might have been okay also, but I just felt more secure. So anyway, here we are. We're getting really close to hitting that profit target. So the uh, the first thing I want to do is take off that, that moon doggy trade. This, uh, uh, is that it? I don't know. It's this one. We want to sell that out and bring ourselves back to a, a normal balanced butterfly and then see if we can get out at 50. Um, so that looks like we're pretty, pretty close. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to try to get out of this guy. So we're getting rid of, I'm getting out of the tilted, the two day hedge, spread hedge. Let's see if I can get 235. There it is working. kind of bouncing all over the place I may only get 230 I guess I'll cave in those darn market makers 
those greedy bastards. Let's go. To, let's go to two thirty. Okay, I'm trying to get two thirty now. Let's see if they'll give it to me for two thirty. Come on, guys. No. Two twenty five. Now it's going to start to run away from me. Okay, there we go at 225. So we're out of that one. So let's lock that in. 225 is what we got on that. So here's our current position right now. This looks great. So we're at 50 bucks. So I just need to uh, make sure that I get out of this at the price that will give me at least... Oh, look at that. I could make up to... It's going for 490... 490-ish. Five... That's really bouncy though. Let's see if I can get 490. I don't want to screw this up. I want to. I'm not going to wait around. No, no dilly dallying today. Okay, so I'm trying to get to 490. It's at 495. Let's say 485. Uh, so we got filled at 485. So what does that give us? So we're out of the trade at four at four eighty five. So seventy bucks, not too shabby. So that's over our profit target. And truthfully, I mean this position looks pretty stable. This is pretty good. So we may have even be able to milk more out of this. But that's for another time. That's after I I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some more back testing with this. This. This tilt trade, the head spread, hedge spread, spread hedge. Um, but it'd be cool if we get like, like a hundred bucks out of these, like double instead of uh, the fifty bucks. This is one contract. Total risk on this. When we had that tra when we had that tilt hedge on, was. Let's just see what it is like if we come all the way out. So down here, you can see the most at risk is like here, the flat line up here, 640. So I would say 640 is the risk on this trade or on today's trade with that, with that two day out spread on. And had we not got out in this, you can see that this is we're right in the sweet spot. So I'm thinking maybe, I mean, this is a calm day. If things are moving around, not so great. It may not work. But I'm going to back test some, like some more uh, hard moving, or fast moving, big moving days. All right, so that's it for this one. That's our, that's our introductory video after vacation coming back in here. And uh, I'm going to do some more back tests on this tonight. I want, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with this into our normal project, but maybe. I mean, the whole point of these videos is to just kind of experiment with other things and test and all that. So maybe I'll start to implement that. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. If you'd like to follow along with me on these trades or any of my other trades I'm doing, just make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Just hit that subscribe button below. And also be sure to join me on my website. You go over to my website. I'll leave a link to my website in the description below. Head on over there. Sign up for my free email newsletter. And when you do that, you'll get a welcome email sent to you right away just reply back to that welcome email and introduce yourself and say hey what's going on i'll get back to you and we'll go from there and be sure to do that because uh over this vacation break there were a i have a couple i have those like three different new ideas i'm going to start testing out that i've never seen before but i think that they uh, i think i think there's something to them uh, they're actually really cool so i'll be testing them but those will probably be done more primarily on my website so just to make sure that you don't miss any of those just make sure you're subscribed to my my uh my free email newsletter and again to do that just go over to my website i'll leave a link to my website in the description below head on over there sign up for my free email newsletter and we'll go from there all right that's it for this one hope everyone's having a good summer so far i'll see you tomorrow